Yeah, Digital amateur radio has become very popular in recent years. FT8 is now more popular than SSB. But what about voice modes? Digital voice in amateur radio has been around for many years. ICOM's first D-Star radio was the ID-1, a 1.2 GHz radio launched in 2004. Today, other voice modes such as Motorola's DMR and Yaesu's Fusion are growing rapidly in popularity. D-Star is more or less standard on all new ICOM radios and DMR is very popular due to the influx of cheap radios. No problem, mate. Let me just uh, wind up a little bit of power here for you. And, uh, it's a new way of communication, but with new modes comes new procedures. This video will show best operating practice when it comes to using these digital voice modes, not how to set up your radio. Digital radio relies on internet connected servers as well as international routing and switching. It's a truly global network. All this routing and switching takes time. So the way you operate and the gaps you leave between overs are critical to a successful contact. When using your digital radio, regardless of digital mode, connection via a repeater or via your local hotspot is recommended. Connected to reflector 23C. For phone operation, use these three simple procedures. Firstly, make a habit of listening for at least 10 seconds before you start a new call, just in case the frequency or network is in use. This is what you should be doing now on any frequency. Yeah, thanks there. Uh, yeah, good to hear you. Good to catch you up tomorrow night. So. Secondly, when you start transmitting, it's recommended to leave a one second gap between pressing your PTT and before you begin to talk. VK3ZT, VK3NCA, yes mate. Yeah. This allows the digital network to connect and sync, preventing any clipping of your first words at the start of your transmission. This one second pause also applies at the end of your over before you release the PTT. And finally, due to the nature and design of the amateur radio digital network, it's really important to leave a four to five second gap between overs. This is the most important aspect of using any digital radio network. VK3 ZT, VK3 NCR. All fine, mate. All, uh, all noted there. The and, reason uh, for this four to five second pause between overs, regardless of mode or connection method, is to allow the network to resync and to allow other stations to join your QSO. Without the gaps between overs, you may not hear other transmissions and the system may simply not connect. So remember to leave a four to five second gap between overs when using any of the digital modes to let the digital network catch up. And add a second of silence at the top and tail of your transmission to prevent clipping. Digital radio has been a part of our hobby since it started. Morse code, the first digital mode, was invented in the United States by American artist and inventor Samuel Morse. Today, it's a little bit faster and a little bit more efficient. For more information, contact the Victorian D-Star Users Group via their website, dstar.org.au.